great and wonderful viewers. Welcome you back to Lightbug Entertainment. For those of you that are not subscribed to this channel before, you're really missing a lot. This is a channel where we upload trendy updates almost every hour. So kindly click the red subscription button that you do screen. And don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new update in Fiora's time, YouTube will let you know. Alright, I have a very trending update for you this morning. But before I go into it, let me just address an issue. Um, for the past few days now on my channel, I noticed that some people have been sending some crazy comments on the video that I uploaded about Bishop Oedipo, where the where a man was trying to attack him on podium. Yes, everyone knows that it's real because I showed them the video where the man was trying to attack him on the podium. But I just noticed that some people are just talking anyhow, like, see, if Bishop Oedipo is your papa, he's a very good man, and I'm also one of his followers, but you can't just come to my channel and be talking anyhow in my comment section. I don't give a fuck, okay? So, I'm not criticizing your papa, I'm not saying anything against your papa. In fact, I'm even, I even said it in the video that I've never seen a situation where a man can have the mind to attack a man or girl. You understand? But a lot of people did not, maybe they did not know how to talk or they don't even watch the video. Just come up to the comment section and begin to say rubbish. Nobody is forcing anyone to subscribe to my channel. I'm not forcing anyone. In fact, I have more than enough subscribers. I'm not forcing anyone to subscribe and I'm not forcing anyone to watch my content. That is it. Okay? So for those of you that are subscribed and you are following us, following our videos, kudos to you. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for following us. And for those of you that are saying rubbish at the comment section, nobody is forcing you to follow us, okay? Now, for my great and wonderful people, the update that we have for you today is about the Kogi State Government. The Kogi State Government, I saw it on... The social media this morning that <laughs> I ever saw the picture where some policemen and some people were barbing the dreadlock of some people like some new guys. Let me laugh. <laughs> They're like barbing their dreadlock from their head. So I now make my research regarding the issue. I noticed that the Kogi State government said that no youth. No Nigeria youth or no Kogi State youth should use dreadlock in the state again. You know, this issue is going on for it's going it's trending on social media right now. Police are arresting them and they are cutting the dreadlocks that they made from their head. So I don't know, a lot of people this have really stirred up a lot of reactions on social media that how can the government be bad being dreadlocks away from the head of youth. If you look at your video screen, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see the picture of where they are trying to bar the dreadlock of. You can see it on your video screen. So they try to bar the dreadlocks off their head. They said, the reason why they're barbing it is because they said, the youths that are using dreadlock that did dreadlock on their head, they said they resemble nuisance and arrogance. So many people came out to the social media, they said, using dreadlock is not, like, you know, it's not what makes a guy to be bad. Why some other people criticize the motion? But I'd like you to drop a comment in the comment section of this video. Is it by sitting, by arresting all those guys and babbing away their dreadlocks that will really solve the issues in Nigeria right now? Because I don't know. Many people have dreadlocks on their head. I'm not supporting dreadlock. And I'm not criticizing dreadlock. As you can see, there's no dreadlock on my hair. Because me, I don't like it. But some people like it. But the thing is this. Is it those people that are having dreadlocks on their head that are spoiling the country? <laughs> are they the one behind the economic crisis? Are they the one behind um, bandit kidnap somebody or something? Or Boko Haram or something? That is not the issue of ground. They are not the one responsible for Nigeria problem. But 
that is only taking place in Kogi state right now. In some other states like Lagos, Ondo state and some other states, it's not, it's not in place. But in Kogi state right now, they are arresting guys with dreadlocks and they are barbing off the dreadlocks off their head immediately after the arrest. So I would like you to drop a comment at the comment section of this video about what you see, about what is really, what is really happening at Kogi state right now. Drop a comment at the comment section of this video. Is it right for the government to just arrest the youth and pop up their dreadlocks or not? All right, that is the end of what I have for you right now. This is Large Pog Entertainment. I really love you guys for following me, subscribing and doing everything to this channel. This is your boy Large Pog. I remain loyal to you and to this channel. So, so it's always my priority to give you the updates about what is happening in the society. Alright, for those of you that have not subscribed before, you really love our content, kindly click the red subscription button under the video screen. And don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new update in few hours time, YouTube is in on fire. Alright, we're going out there to get another trending gist for you. But before you go, make sure you like this video, share it to your loved ones. Alright, see you in our next video.